This is the VTL145 platform with an E-Tech battery pack. Check that your surroundings are clear before setting up your unit, looking out for any drains. Now, start the engine and ensure that the handbrake is engaged. Push down on the clutch and activate the PTO switch. If you are using the E-Tech on an iVeco, there is no PTO switch. Once the PTO is engaged, the beacons on the boom knuckle and under the bucket will come on. On the overhead switch panel, the yellow LED indicates the PTO is working. The red LED shows the legs are out of stow and the green light shows sufficient pressure on the legs to operate the platform. Once the legs are deployed, the van will elevate. Ensure the vehicle is within the 3 and 5 degrees indicated by the level bubble. Open the side door and ensure that the E-Tech battery switch is on. The current state of the charge will be indicated on the grey box on the turret. Ground control operation is activated with the selector switch on the turret. To test the operation of the emergency motor from the ground controls, first stop the engine and press the red emergency motor button to listen for the motor activating. With the engine off, you can operate the ground controls. Both the green dead man's trigger and the function required need pressing at the same time. To operate the platform using the emergency motor, you need three fingers to operate the dead man, the emergency motor and the function required. When finished with the ground controls, replace the control box back in the bracket and switch over to bucket controls. Enter the basket and use the rated anchor points to secure your harness, making sure the bucket door is closed to activate the controls. Inside the control panel, there is the joystick, which is locked until the collar is lifted. No functions operate while the selector switch is in zero. This is the engine stop-start switch. Here is the emergency electric motor switch. Next is the basket level switch. To the left is the function selector switch. The emergency stop switch is at the top of the panel, which cuts the control and stops the engine. To release, Twist and pull. Another emergency stop is provided on the ground controls. On the vehicle app, it shows how much battery is left. The only function available when in stow is the boom lift, shown by the single green arrow on the LCD bucket display. Once up and out of stow, the rest of the functions will become available. Again, shown by the green arrows. Alignment arrows are provided as an indicator. Across the VTL series, we have a semi-home function to assist with docking. With both the fly jib and telescopic retracted and the main boom below 15 degrees elevation, the platform will stop above the dock coming in from either side rotation, allowing a safe and simple return to home. The selector switch needs to be in zero position to operate the bucket level function. This changes the screen to explain how to operate. The angle of the bucket is controlled with the joystick. In the event of an unlevel bucket, the bucket must be trimmed to level to enable docking. Then select the first position on the dial and lower the boom into the dock. Before driving away, Ensure the key is turned to van. The engine is turned on via the ground controls, legs are retracted and the PTO is switched off. Once the legs are raised and the spreader pads are stowed away, enter the cab, press the clutch, disengage the PTO and the vehicle will be ready to drive away. The E-Tech battery pack will recharge when the vehicle is driving.